Hello guys and welcome to understanding how WordPress handles media content by WA courses. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly how WordPress handles uh, media content. So if you're uploading media, any form of media, images, videos to your WordPress website, I'm going to explain how WordPress handles it and everything that you need to know about um, media content. So with the introduction out of the way, let's get started with the video. So on WordPress, you can add media files either when you're creating a post or a page or directly from the media section here on your dashboard okay so uh, i'm just gonna add a new uh, media file here it's just so you get um, you understand how um, wordpress handles media files okay so i'll click on add new and i'll click on select files so I'm just going to upload a random image from here. So let's upload this one and see how that works. Okay, so this is uploaded. So once I click on this, um, you're going to notice that um, at the right hand side here, WordPress populates, um, generates some statistics for this media. So this is default behavior for every form of media you, you upload to WordPress, to your WordPress site. Um, it's going to generate things like uploaded date, um, user that uploaded the image or the file, the file name, file type, file size, and dimension if it is an image or a video. Okay. So some of the fields here are specific to just image files. So if you have um, something like um, a PDF, you're not going to get alternate text for PDF. Okay. So these are subjective to the media file type you're uploading so over here we have alternate text so you can specify an alternate text for this image title title is general so whatever you're uploading so this is going to have a title caption description and file url so this file url gives you a direct um, url to this image so you can copy this and embed this on any website or or on the any part of your wordpress website okay so one other thing to note is whenever you upload a uh, a media file to WordPress, WordPress creates an attachment post. Okay. So just like you have a um, blog post here, WordPress does the same thing for images or whatever you're uploading to your site. That is a media file. So if you can view the attachment page by clicking on this, so I'm just going to open this in a new tab and let's see how it looks. So as you can see, it looks just like a blog post, but it just contains only uh, the title and the image itself okay so this is an attachment um, page or an attachment post for this image so the reason why wordpress does this is because it's um, once this is done you can actually use this image on different parts of your website and you don't really need to upload it different times okay so once you upload an image once you can use it over and over and over on your wordpress website so uh, that's something you should know. Um, another thing you should note is whenever you upload an image file to your WordPress website, it's going to create different variants of um, by size of the image. Okay, so this image we have a 150 by 150, 225 by 300. So it generates different sizes for this image. So when you're trying to use this image on your post or page, you're going to be able to specify a size that you want. Okay, so if I come over here, this is 150 by 150. So I'm going to show you how this looks on a post. So I'm just going to um, create a new post and let's see um, how this is going to look, how this um, image is going to look. So I'm just going to click on this plus, select image, media library and select. So once you do this, um, if you scroll down at the right hand side here, you're going to see image size. So we have thumbnail, we have medium and we have full size. Okay. So WordPress automatically creates different variants of um, this specific um, image file here. Okay. So um, when you embed an image or a video or whatever to your post, you can set a specific alternate text for the um, specific post. Okay. So if you set um, an alternate text here, um, over here and you add this uh, image to your post you can override um, the alternate text specific to the post okay so this is just the default alternate text but you can also override it from here okay so that's another thing you should know about um, 
image files same thing with um video so when you upload a video you get the dimension you get the length so this is specific length is specific to videos and you can see some of the statistics here are not are no longer visible and it also has an attachment page so every single uh, media file has an attachment page you can also edit the media depending on on the type so you can edit um, images resize images and videos and all that so those are just uh, those are um, extra functionality that the media library provide but what you should know is wordpress creates attachment posts for any image or any file you add to your media library whether it's a pdf uh whether it's a pdf an image or a video okay so that's about it for media files and how wordpress handles media files i hope you guys found this video useful and i'll see you guys in the next one